getting yet another video and uh, i would like to bring that about for our viewers to see because this is coming across from the kunduz airport what is being said that the taliban has also seized a large number of military and government civilian vehicles and also the american humvees after controlling uh, the entire area now this is america's war chest which is now with taliban we are looking at a quick takeover that taliban has been doing we are looking at how taliban already entered the presidential palace it has already taken over the uh, afghan parliament guns and weapons that were brandished uh, the talibani flag that was mounted on government buildings even when it comes to the security forces there and the government weapons that they, they were using that has also been taken over uh, by taliban but this is from the kunduz airport what we are getting to know that has been completely taken over by taliban uh, coacher sir this is what you were mentioning listening when you were talking about a complete takeover that has been done when it comes to logistics and the kind of military equipments uh, that were actually supposed to be of the afghan military has now been taken over by taliban i would like to add a thing further on this uh, see uh, talibanis are not uh, very well trained to operate this entire equipment so uh, now you will uh, see an influx of uh, the pakistan army coming into play uh, they will not come dressed like an army uh, they will be uh, in the guise of uh, uh, you know like the mujahideens and all actually came into india and uh, in kargil and all so uh, they will uh, come in a form of a disguise and help to actually rebuild this entire force of the captured equipment because we need to understand as general sinai also brought out that pakistan has a major role to play in the resurgence of taliban and the kind of training what has been given in in the training camps in pakistan is in the public domain today uh, when the you know war was on between the taliban and the afghan army we were hearing reports of hundred of fighters being injected inside afghanistan from pakistan and duly trained and i have my absolutely no doubts about the fact that many of these fighters are actually soldiers of the pakistan army who are coming into play and who are now being shown as fighters because of the superior uh, your battle skills they have and that is one of the reasons and we can't give a uh, you know a, a, a clean chit to america because right now because the american army before they left afghanistan they were absolutely uh, certain about the strength of the afghan army uh, you and the weaknesses you we have seen uh, there has been a shortage of ammunition a shortage of fuel a shortage of uh, supplies and from the month of february they have not been paid the wages so the morale of the afghan army was certainly down when the americans also knew this when mm. they also actually knew that the afghan army will not be able to give a fight to the talibanis then why have they left afghanistan so these questions are to be answered by the americans themselves because they are a cause of this problem right now you know what they actually did in libya in syria in iraq is now actually happening in afghanistan so the world has to ask these you know questions to america that uh, did you know all this and in spite of knowing all this because american intelligence is uh, one of the best in the world and i am sure they uh, would be knowing about the state of the afghan army well the questions uh, have also been raised against the american intelligence because they even couldn't imagine how quick was this takeover by taliban 
And that is also being said when uh, President Joe Biden was speaking on the issue, he said that it was the Americans, it was America that was paying the salaries of uh, the Afghan military, the soldiers there. But the United States exit from Afghanistan gives Taliban the clear access to several weapons that includes guns, ammunition and much more, <clears throat> including military equipments. But with the US troops all gone, Taliban is now finding themselves flushed with American supply tools without even having to raise a single penny for it. And that is something which is very concerning at this point. But we continue to put forth many of such videos there. Uh, Major General Sinasa, Major General Kocha, sir, request you to stay on with us as we continue with our focus on Afghanistan.